All right, what's going on, folks? Welcome to another episode of the Pixel Dome. Once again, 100% Call of Duty free. Today, we're going to bring you a little pickups video, some stuff that me and Husky's bought here lately. Um, you know, a few good ones, a few bad ones, you know, just all in all, we're just going to go over uh, what we got. You want to go first, or you want me to go first? I'll go first. All right. All right, so Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for the Dreamcast. Everybody, if you know, you know how expensive this is to get nowadays. Um, so I got a fan-made version. Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang Remix. That's just messed up. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fun. The, the guy, I just found this guy on Macari who's doing them. And, you know, it's an expensive game of 200 bucks. For just to play that game when you can play it on other consoles for cheaper. Does it have Wu Tang as one of the playable characters? I wish it did. It's just the game. Just the soundtrack. Just the soundtrack. It's just the game as is uh, with different music. So <laughs> on your home screen, you have uh, your menu screen. You have one song. You got a different song during the fight. See, there's like three or four different. Huh? That's songs crazy. Going on I had no idea. Yeah, and they have a metal. The the guy has a metal. Uh, remix. Uh, it's basically anything you want. So what's this run? Uh, that was about twenty five dollars. Shit, you can't beat that. Yeah, twenty three, twenty four to twenty five. Well, staying on the oddball kind of track. Uh, <laughs> mine ain't so much a game as it is an accessory. It's an old Dreamcast VMU, still in box as you see, and has never been opened. I don't know why I was so attracted to this. <laughs> But I'm a Dreamcast nut, and I saw this, and this case is cherry. I mean, it's like it just rolled off the factory floor. It was 40 bucks, and considering the VMUs are running you 20 to 25 to 30 bucks, depending on what color they are, yep. to get one Primo still in box at 40, it's pretty sweet. I was I was ecstatic. If you're if this doesn't get your juices flowing, I don't know what will. I mean, that's great. This was awesome to me. Do you play the mini games? Did you, or no, you ever? no, no, no. For me, the only time I really used the VMU was with some of the uh, football games. Okay. Like I think 2K, yeah. your plays would show up on it, yeah. and you could save your roster to it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah then yeah. when you played on somebody else's system, you had your team. Yep. Yeah. I, it was ingenious to me. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was an awesome Dreamcast thing. But anyway, that's that's it for me on that one. That's sweet. Mine is uh, my next one is Mario Golf. Super Rush for the Switch. I'm a late bloomer on the Switch, so I'm just finding all these games and getting really excited about them. This one is just super, super, super fun. It's a great time waster. Me and my wife played this last night for an hour or two. It's just fun. The battle mode's fun. The adventure mode's fun. Just playing standard golf's fun. Yeah, this one I haven't played yet, but um, I have it on... Mario Golf on the GameCube, and it's awesome. I played it on the N64, and I haven't played this, but I mean, you can't go wrong with the golf game, period. Um, Especially Mario Golf, it's just fun. Right. Fun uh, the, the internet threw some hate on this one, and I don't really get why, because I mean, I feel like people take these games way too seriously. At the core of them, it's a daggum golf game, and it's meant to be fun. If it doesn't have some mode in it that you want, Play another golf game. Yeah, you know? <laughs> there, there's a little bit of hate on that one. But I, I really think that, I personally think it's a little bit of nitpicking. Mm. Um, people are seem to be customers, whatever, seem to be pretty needy and want the best of the best of the best every time. And for me, this is just fun. Yeah. It's just simple, plain fun. The, I know they added, after doing a little bit of research on it, they added uh, some DLC over over time and plenty of characters, plenty of modes. It's just fun and easy. And yeah, I need to pick it up. Wasting. I keep waiting for the price to drop on it, but being a first party title, it probably never will. Yeah. So I just got to bite the bullet and get it. Yeah, I think I, I think that's one of them I got on trade. Oh, one okay. of our pickup days. Cool. All right. This one is Ray Storm, Ray Crisis. This is an old arcade game. This was also, I think, on the Saturn and a few other systems. It is the original Raystorm series and also the remasters on top of it. Awesome, awesome game. I love it. it it'll kind of mess you up in the shooter genre, though, because you have a crosshairs or reticle, whatever you want to call it, in front of the ship. And a lot of times you have to move it there and you're aim it at the target while you're shooting. Yeah. 
It's kind of messed up and it'll jack you up a little bit, but still, once you get the hang of the mechanic and having yeah. to rotate the ship around, it's a pretty fun game. Um, this shooter, I'm a giant shmups fan, so I'll buy anything that has a ship blowing stuff up in front of it. This isn't the most... This isn't the best one I've got. It's, it's fun, but the difficulty... The learning curve, to put it that way. The learning yeah. curve kind of aggravates me, but uh, still... Heck? Zanac is that way. It's just a little bit of learning curve. It's just crazy. Right. It's not your regular shoot them up. Yeah, and Frantic. it's well, this and I think um, Gunner, Gunner something was an arcade one. I can't remember. It was on the Naomi engine. It was like that as well. Yeah. Real weird. You had to turn the helicopter around and oh, shoot yeah. in the right position. It was funky, but it's still a cool game. It's uh, it's pretty cheap too, so it's worth a try. Good old standard for my next one. Resident Evil 2, the remake. Masterpiece. It is phenomenal. And again, I'm a late bloomer on some of this stuff. I went when the Series X came out. Um, I had only had a 360. I didn't have a PS4. I didn't do the Xbox One. Shameful. I went straight from <laughs> PS3 and Xbox 60 to the Series X and PS5. Shameful. <laughs> but I'm late on the PS5 because I've been geeking out on the Series X for so long, but now that I'm finding all this stuff, I uh, haven't played the Series X in, you know, other than like playing wrestling games. Well, I haven't really played That's about that all it's fit for. <laughs> <laughs> but this is absolutely beautiful. It's phenomenal. Who are you playing as? You playing as Jill? No, no, that's him. Um, what's his name? Leon. Leon. So, yeah, and, and um, I think... Uh, let's see, how far did I get? This one I haven't played through too much. So a lot of these on um, today's pickups I just got, so I haven't. And I picked up like 40 within a couple of weeks, 40 games. So I haven't gotten too far on any of these games. But man, does it look exceptional. Claire, not oh, Jill. Damn, don't kill me. I, I, <laughs> between Claire Redfield and Jill Valentine, I get them all mixed up. But uh, yeah, this is an awesome game. I, I played the hell out of it. it I love so it. so good. Everything and the re the remaster, everything it just looks so good. Mm -hmm. and, and the first one's great. The first uh, the first Resident Evil Two is great, but man, to to have this remaster is really really killer. Yeah, the third one's great too. The Nemesis remaster, it yeah. got a little bit of hate too, but I loved it. That one, that one's perfection. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, I don't think I ever played three. It's good. It's on the cheap too. Yeah. It's older now. Yeah, I absolutely love this game. I, like I said, I haven't got too deep into it because a lot of these I bought so many, I had so many pickups. Me and Matt went on, I think, just on the two trips that we took. Uh, I did a lot of Xbox 360 trading and I got a ton of pickups, so I've got to get through them all. Yeah, I'm just saying, I ain't even played half the ones we got that day. I've got months worth. So. Well, staying on the horror trip, I recently found Silent Hill on the PS1. This game is, yeah. it's a, it's great. It's overpriced like crazy, but still, I had to have it, and I, I got it, as you see. It's so good. But it, awesome game. It's it's hard to go back to the tank controls. Um, I've dealt with it, and you know I have been going back through it. It's still a ton of fun. Like I say, the tank controls modern day is a pain to get used to, but. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, still, it's an awesome, awesome, awesome. game, but it's, it's super difficult with that aspect of it. Um, but no, Silent Hill, great, 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 great game. Don't pay what I had to pay for it, but it's a great game. Emulate it. Killer score. All right, so next one, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, PS4. I haven't, I haven't played Star Wars games in quite a, a minute other than like the, uh, the Pod Racer, the N64 mm -hmm. games, and... Somehow I just fell off of that it's the whole series. Well, that's the souls of the uh, Jedi or of the of a Star Wars game. That game is tough. Man, this the lightsaber. Just playing with the lightsaber. Oh man, there's I could go on and on, but I'm not. Just know that if you're gonna get a Star Wars game and you haven't got this one, please get it pronto. This thing is immaculate. I don't know. There's, it's so fun using that lightsaber. Like, I, well, you've got such strategy with it. Yeah. It's I mean, good. if you go in trying to hack and slash it, you're yeah. going to die. Yeah. No you way. know. I mean, you have to 
Block. Blocking is your best friend in this game, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. It's that's what's so great about it. It is a uh, it's tough. And one of the things about this game though is you can change the difficulty on the fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you get yeah. in a sticky spot, you can dumb it down, then you can bring it back up when you get out yeah. of that sticky spot. Yeah. It's it's helpful on some of the bosses especially. Yeah, yeah. And I haven't had to do that yet. Um I ch- I cheated a couple times on it. No, I beat I- it and I, it, it was a challenge. I'm sure it's coming. I haven't had to do that yet. I'm not bragging because I'm not a I'm not a game master by any means. <laughs> but the just the the gameplay in this is just it's so good. Um, like you said, it's really strategic. Blocking is kind of everything. And man, when you're blocking the bullets with the, I just can't get enough. Yeah, it's saving. fun. It's just plain old fun. Yeah, it is. All right, my next one is an old school one. RC Pro Am. Yeah. Still in the box. Got the manual, everything. Of course, you can see it's in its old case protector here. I had to have this. Yeah. I'm yeah. not a big SNES collector, but this thing was primo and looked gorgeous. RC Pro Am is my all time favorite racing game on the SNES. It, it was just a must have. I mean, I got it, I think it was 50 bucks, and for me, yeah, it was worth every dime, yeah, you know, and it's yeah. primo, primo, primo condition. And honestly, the biggest reason I got it, it makes one hell of a display piece. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it That's looks good. good. I've not even played it, you know. Oh, and wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. it's it looks damn good sitting on a shelf. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but this is one of the pride of my fleets here. Not super hard to find. Doesn't cost a lot of money. It's just worth every dime. Yeah, that'll go. That'll be in my collection. <laughs> soon someday all right my last one here of the five i wanted to like this game a whole whole lot super street the game ps4 never heard of it this game could be could have been really awesome some people love it some people give it crap um i just think it could have been a lot better i was really excited when i got it i'm a big arcade racing fan um the controls, like the way that you're controlling the car, it's a little loose. It doesn't feel right. And I don't mean loose like the car doesn't turn tight enough or sharp enough or when you know, like it's just, it just feels wrong. It feels a little bit off. Well, that can make or break a driving game. I mean, really, because big it, time. Yeah, some uh, can be too tight, some are too loose. There's plenty of cars on there that you can customize. You start off stock. It's cool story everything about it is cool and i wanted to love it but at this point it's probably going in the trade pile uh, it, it really it just could have been so good and i was really excited to get it but i thought i'd bring it today for the pickups because it's worth trying out i know i'm 46 there's some younger kids that absolutely love it um but to me it's it didn't quite hit the mark it's almost there, but uh, if you want some mindless, whatever, street racing game, uh, pick it up. It's fine, but I'll, I need a little more. Yeah, I believe I I'll let you more. have that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably go in the trade pile right. next go around. All right, so my last one's a, a game, but it's the whole shooting match. Time so Crisis okay. 2 with a Gun Con 2 gun in it. Yeah. <laughs> I adore this thing. All right. It comes with, in the old box here, you got the game, of course, you know, in primo shape. I mean, it's it looks, it's in killer shape. Wow. I don't know how well this is coming across from you guys, but it's got the instructions up here, how to hook it all up, the gun itself, what each button does. You know, they don't do this on games anymore. You don't even get a, instructions, and they printed it on the inside of this box in the old days. Even the manual's cherry. Yeah. And you're inside here, which kind of a pain, you got the gun, all that job, all the hookups, peripherals, all that. Looks like somebody wrote their scores back here, back in the day, keeping track of it. That stuff doesn't bother me, you know? It's like whatever. Yeah, yeah, she's kicking ass. (laughs) But anyway, this is one of them pickups that yeah, of course, it's game-specific and all that jive, but uh, it's just cool, man. I mean, this is one of them deals. Another one. It sits right beside the RC Pro-Am on the shelf. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this 
in primo shape goes for about 100 120 the box on mine isn't magnificent but it's not bad at all picked it up for 75 bucks and the game itself with the gun you're gonna have that plus i got the box killer deal some of those guns go for 50 Smells 60 funky. bucks but yeah it's it's super killer i almost deal. pulled the trigger i was telling him i almost pulled the trigger on uh combo i think it was either one and two or two and three yeah with the gun and uh i need to not break the bank this week yeah i don't have a crt to play it on but um oh. i don't know i'm probably gonna do the gun for our mod at some point and have it emulated anyway just, but just keep it at my house mm -hmm. just come over when you want to play yeah 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 we'll, we'll do that we only live an hour apart from each other that'd be handy <laughs> but uh that's pretty much it guys with a little video here, some stuff we picked up, some stuff y'all might dig, some stuff uh, you could care less about, but either way, a few decent pickups. Yeah, man. Uh, if y'all want to see more pickup vids or any different format style or whatever, let me know. Anyway, you good? Good. We'll see y'all next time. All right. Later, folks.